Hi, welcome to the fourth video on the quadratics topic. What we're going to look at today is using the discriminant, uh, which is a little bit more sophisticated than what we were looking at before. Uh, before, what we were looking at is, right, here's a quadratic. You tell me what the nature of the roots are. What we want to look at here is, if we know information about the nature of the roots, can we find something out about the quadratics? That's your first learning intention there, so your first success criteria. And the second part is being able to use the discriminant to prove things about the nature of the roots of different quadratics. Okay, so this one's just going to be three examples, just into your notes. Okay, in that first example, find the values of Q such that that quadratic has a real roots. Okay, so again, we're not asked to find out about the nature of the roots. We're told that in this situation, we know they're going to be real. Now, first wee trick here is for real roots, there's two options. Okay, you can have real and distinct roots when the discriminant is greater than zero. You can also have real and equal roots when it, this given is equal to zero. So we know here, the statement we can make for this quadratic is the discriminant has to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, and you can set up that uh, an equation there to solve for Q. So B is 12, A is six, and C is just Q. Okay, so that's going to be 144, take away 24Q is greater than or equal to 0, which means that minus 24Q is greater than or equal to negative 144. Okay, and when you divide by negative 24, because you're dividing by a negative, we know from that 5 that that inequality is going to change your sign. And 144 divided, negative 144 divided by negative 24 is just 6. Okay, so for that quadratic, it has real roots when Q is less than or equal to 6. So that's finding out something about your quadratic uh, from a statement about a discriminant. Okay, second example. Find P given that that quadratic there has non-real roots. Okay, so non-real roots we know happens when there's no real roots, which is what happens when the discriminant is less than zero. So again, we're solving a quadratic inequality. We want we know this quadratic has no real roots. We want to find out what P is. So B in this case is P minus four all squared minus four times one times a half P of C less than zero. Okay, that quadratic gives you p squared minus 8p plus 16 when you square it, and that's going to be minus 2p. Okay, so p squared minus 10p plus 16. Okay, now that is an inequality. It's also a quadratic. So we know the best way to solve that is to give it just a quick sketch. Okay, so I'm going to go over to the side and just give myself a wee sketch of my quadratic. Okay, I want to know when it's less than zero. Very hard to know unless you know when it's equal to zero. So p squared minus 10p plus 16 is equal to zero. That happens when p minus 2p minus 8 is equal to zero. Okay, which means p is 2 and p is 8. Okay, so we're talking about a positive parabola, so it's a happy face. So we're going to have in there at 2 and 8 on a positive parabola, and we want to know when it's less than 0. So it's less than 0 down here. So the solution to our quadratic inequality in there is that, well, P is in between 2 and 8. It's less than Two is less than p, which is less than eight. So that's the solution to our question. And you can see there what I mean about a uh, quadratic inequality just coming into other questions. Okay, at this point here, you have to recognise, right? I'm talking about a quadratic. There's a squared, and I'm talking about an inequality or an equation. So I'm looking at my sketch and seeing what's happening in relation to that x-axis. Okay, so that's the solution to that question. Okay, final example. Show that 2k plus 4x squared plus 3k plus 2x plus k minus 2 always has real roots. 
Okay, now again, this time is a little bit different. We've got to show that question when I have to prove something. Okay, so we want to finish off by making a statement. Uh, real roots, again, real and distinct is when it's greater than zero. Real and equal is when it's equal to zero. So we want to show that it's greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so for the show that, we need to show that the discriminant is always greater than or equal to zero. Okay, that's our target. Now, we're not going to start with that because we don't know if it's true yet. It's us that are showing that. So we want to finish with b squared minus 4ac is greater than or equal to zero. We want to show that what we get from the discriminant is always positive or zero. Now, there's a trick here that you need to recognise when you're looking for stuff that is positive or, or zero. Something that's greater than or equal to zero, your best friends are going to be your square numbers. Okay, square numbers have to be zero or bigger because you know when you square a negative, it gives you a positive. So you need to show that a discriminant is going to give you a square, a squared term. Okay, so b squared, well that's 3k plus 2 squared, minus 4 times a is 2k plus 4, k minus 2. And then you need to multiply that out and tidy it up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video just so you don't have to watch me go through it because that's just breaking the rackets and just save a bit of time so I'm aware it's getting quite long. Okay, so just when you break out those brackets, you end up with k squared plus 12k plus 36. Now you want to show that it's a square number because if it's a squared thing or a squared term, then it has to be a positive or zero. Okay, so we're going to look and see what that factorises to. And that factorises to k plus 6 and then another k plus 6. So k plus 6 squared. So it is a squared term, which has to be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the roots are always real. Okay, now that's your trick there. Okay, if I'm trying to show they're always real, or if I'm trying to show something is always greater than or equal to 0, I want to show I have a squared term which in this case I do, because k plus 6 all squared is what we get with the discriminant. Okay, we've got lots more practice in class. Give us a shout if you need a hand with anything. Thank you.